Okay, now this class can be taught by five, six different people who are in the psychology department, and each of them has some expertise associated with looking at the different aspects of all your thought processes, okay? And it starts out with looking at perception. That is, how do we take in information uh, from the external world? And we have two faculty members who are very interested in distance. How do we judge local distance or further distance? And, uh, and another uh, person is also interested in, in perception associated with emotion. How does emotion affect what it is that we perceive? But we're not all just creatures that only perceive things. We also have some limitations, and the limitations lie in attention. We don't always pay attention to what it is that's coming in, or we're limited in terms of attention. And so we have two people, um, in this case Dave, uh, Dave Strayer and, and Jason Watson, who are interested in attention. And Jason Watson is going to talk about inattention. Right? And by the way, in all cases, we're going to talk about the brain as well. Okay? He's, in other words, there's this inattention blindness. Sometimes we pay attention to one thing, we don't pay attention to something else. Okay? And then Dave Strayer is world famous at this point in time because of all the driving uh, studies that he has been involved in where we're talking about multitasking. How can you do more than one thing at a time? You are you know, texting and driving. That's very difficult to do at the same time, and you get into accidents, okay? Um, so once you, you have attention co components operate, then, of course, all of this then is important for learning and memory, okay? And so I will be presenting uh, information on how we store information, how we process information, and I'll spend some time looking at, because I know some of you are older, at what happens when you get older and aging? And I have a positive message for you, okay? Um, but there's also Alzheimer's disease, and I know you've heard some of that this morning, but I'll go into some of it as well, okay? So then, the, once you got all of those components working for you, then the next question is, how do you make decisions? And it turns out to be that the frontal cortex is very important for decision making. And so we have Dr. Drews, who's very much into decision making and errors that people might make. And then finally, we have Dr. Friedrich, who's interested in language. I mean, we're very, um, we're language oriented, right? Language is very important to us. So she'll talk about the neuropsychology of language in terms of the disorders associated with language. And so when you get done with this course, you'll have some real good idea of what you're all about. And ultimately, it's the brain that determines everything, okay? Because without the brain, you can't see, you can't pay attention, you can't learn, and you can't make decisions, etc. So I hope that you'll take the class, okay? okay.